The site is anything but exciting now, but the potential is there for this rusting relic of manufacturing to become a destination for extreme sports. USA BMX already visits yeah. Tulsa yeah. with championships at the fairgrounds, and after success there, decided to make Tulsa a permanent home. So rather than just being here, being here two times a year, they're going to be here year-round generating activity. And um, they'll be training kids and doing camps and programs, so kids within like eight hours of drive here will be trailering up their bicycles and stuff and, and uh, families, and they'll be showing up to Tulsa. USA BMX plans to build on a corner of the Evans Fin Tube site that covers 22 acres once used for manufacturing. Taxpayers are investing $15 million from the vision tax with the expectation of at least 20,000 visitors a year and an $11 million impact over five years. The commitment from USA BMX is their headquarters for 30 years, the BMX Hall of Fame, and an indoor stadium with tracks for amateurs and Olympians. It'll be the largest indoor BMX track in North America, so we're excited about that. The Evans Fin Tube building will be demolished. The larger Oklahoma Ironworks building rebuilt as part of a still developing plan. BMX will need about four acres, leaving a much larger section open for development. It's part of a larger strategy for the city that includes other cycling events like Tulsa Tough to make Tulsa more of a destination for extreme cycling.